Hello friends, welcome on board Pull Up Your Aviation channel. My name is Basker and I'm passionate about aviation and I work for now as an airport trainer. Are you familiar with the most famous landing system, the ILS? No? Not yet? So please click here, you will get to know more about it. Today's subject is about the DME, the Distance Measuring Equipment. So fasten your seatbelt and get ready for departure. The Distance Measuring Equipment DME, is an equipment simply measuring the distance from a DME station. But how does it work? First of all, the DME operates within the range from 960 MHz to 1215 MHz and indicates what we call a slant range. Let me explain what is the slant range. Simply put, this is the distance from the station and the aircraft and not the ground distance. DME's range is around 200 nautical miles or 370 kilometers. Each DME station on the ground has a specific frequency. So when an aircraft wants to use a specific DME ground station, it will just put its frequency on the aircraft receiver. At this moment, the aircraft will emit pulses, this is called the interrogation mode, to a DME station on the ground on a specific frequency with a specific spacing. The DME then transmits back those pulses in a different frequency but keeps the same spacing. The receiver installed in the aircraft measures the time taken for the signal to travel up and down and translate this information into a distance, here as you can see in the picture, in nautical miles. As I said previously, the distance shown in the aircraft equipment is a slant distance and not a ground distance. So if an aircraft flies just above the station, the information shown on the receiver in the aircraft would actually show a height. Most modern DME ground equipment can respond to 100 and more 200 uh, integration at the same time. So if an aircraft is far away, the DME cannot see that signal coming from that aircraft. Now you know everything about the DME, the distance measuring equipment. Guys, thanks for watching again. Till then, take care and stay safe.